Hello y'all, welcome back to a, another vlog. Um, if this is your first time here, my, hi, my name is Janika, or you can call me Mabel, whatever makes you feel more comfortable. Um, but basically in this vlog, it's gonna be like kind of straight to the point. Um, it's gonna be like London prep, preparation for the London trip. Um, we're gonna be packing. We have a few more work things to do this week and so, so basically we're leaving then we're going to rome and then we're going to london um and so with that being said i basically have to pack um i wanted to go cycling and to just like a few workout uh to a few workout classes and so with that being said i will be going to the oxford circus cycle london and then i will also be going to I think it's Clapham. Is it Clapham? Is it's either Clapham or Notting Hill or Shoreditch for a few other classes, but I booked their intro offer, which is only 45 pounds for three classes, which I thought was pretty cool. So excited to do that. Also, I have not worked out like in so long and I think it'll be so good to like actually work out um in London, one and two, to work out like just in a space that I am a lot like not to say happier but just like excited to work out and do things I actually like to work out because in Italy they don't really have a lot of gyms like this and I, I personally like boutique fitness gyms um, and that's exactly what this is so I definitely want to go here experience it see if I like it also because I've kind of been like juggling with the thought in mind to move to London like for work or permanently I don't know how that would work but you know I want to when I go to London I want to look at it as if like oh let's look around is this like something that you like is this like an area that you might like uh, is this a culture that you like like I just I just want to look at it and see um, what it could look like if I could find a gym a church I also have to find a church to go to Christmas Day I also have not booked um, my Christmas dinner at um a pub or a restaurant um which i actually was supposed to do this week but i forgot so i have to do it this week i have to definitely do it this week and hopefully all the reservations are taken which i mean it's a party of one like there should not be any problems with me getting a table but it's always a problem um the other thing that we have to do is packing i am carrying my carry-on this time because i just don't feel like like my back hurts sometimes from how Heavy the hiking bag is but the hiking bag is very convenient for like when you're traveling and you're like hip hopping places i'm not hip hopping nowhere like i'm just staying one place so i just want to have like a nice bag that i can have there and be fine and be good so well i'm kind of wondering like which classes that i want to take um the class that i'm looking for right now or i'm looking at it doesn't even have a place it's weird that's weird okay so all of our classes are booked we are doing one reformer pilates class we are doing one hit and abs class and then we're doing one bike um ride class so oh. with that being said we take one thing off of our to-do list i just finished editing the vlog before this one so i just need to go here on audit to google um and get that uploaded get that uploaded on on here i don't know why this thing always does this i don't know why this thing always does this so tomorrow we'll book our our dinner spot we'll book which i just was having a really hard time figuring out where i wanted to eat because i mean obviously on christmas day i don't want to be i don't i don't have the money to be sitting somewhere like fancy like the ritz but i also want to feel like homey and i want to feel like i have a christmas dinner even if like there's no one else around me to make it christmas or if i go to like a pub then the people there will be loud enough to make it feel like my family's right there anyway so i think that that'll be that'll be okay i think that'll be okay so i have like a lot of options i bookmarked them on my office computer so I should be able to see what, um, I should be able to book a place and a backup place in case I don't like the first place. So yeah, 
I think that's how that's gonna work. I also need to go and look up the church that I'm gonna be going to and see what exactly they will be having like going on. And if I do that, then I could actually correlate. Well, I think some places don't start their dinners until like 12 to four. And then other places are starting their dinner from like four to eight. So I don't know, we'll see. Good morning, guys. Oof, I don't look too rough. I just want y'all to know, just like, my oh gosh. Right now that, I don't know, I always feel like I'm gonna focus. My goodness. But basically, okay. Morning guys, cause I don't know what I was saying in the first couple seconds. But I just want y'all to know, glory be to God for everything. I think today I just had like this really rude awakening. Um, just about like everything that I have and the fact that I only have it because of God, like every single thing, the breath in my lungs, like pillows to sleep on. And I complain about a lot of things. That's the honest truth, I do. Um, at one, two seconds, I would say, oh, stop complaining, stop complaining, but, like, to be honest, like, obviously, we all have things that we can't complain about, but I have nothing to complain about. Like, the space I'm in, the things I'm able to do, the content that I'm able to create, like, Even if it's only for 71 subscribers. Like, God will do with 71 people that he could do with five loaves of bread, you know? So, yeah, I just needed that. I needed that this morning. <sighs> I just, I need that every day. But obviously, I think, like, I just, like, sometimes you just feel like a wave. And like that wave can, I feel like that wave is, I know that wave is the Holy Spirit just touching my heart. And like you just start bawling and crying and then you stop, can't stop crying and it's just all that stuff. So just remember if you haven't today, go and pray and thank God for everything that you have. That's basically what I was trying to say. Um, but, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. It's 8.52, um, verse of the day, because it just makes sense to just say it, because it's on my phone. Um, and it says, the people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light, a uh, great, a uh, duh, on those living in the land of darkness, of deep darkness a light has dawned and i felt like that was the first verse that i read this morning um and i woke up early because i had like a really really bad dream and it like it's felt it's felt like it's been like a deep darkness in my world um and it literally this morning felt like the light had dawned like it felt like a light was exposed to my eyes and it just, I don't know. I was in the shower too and I was like, there's, I was worshiping and it just all. Like, you know, like just three for really, so outfit, O-O-T-T. Let's see if y'all can see it. It's like my favorite romper, honestly, if you if being really, really real. It's just this turtleneck. Um, I have no idea where this turtleneck is from. This, um, yeah, I know you can see my shirt. It's white, doy. But um, this, oh, you can't see my feet. I kicked it up just now. But this romper that I got this summer, um, and I was trying to figure. I was trying to figure out like what shoes to wear. But I think I'm just gonna wear my Uggs. Cause I don't know if I'm going outside today, which I might. 
I don't know, just for just to go for a little walk maybe. I don't know, we'll see. So it looks like it's a pretty good um it looks like a pretty good temperature today. Other than that, everything's pretty everything's pretty clean. Um, yeah, so this is the OOTD of the day with my boots, um, and yeah, I just, I feel cute. Um, I know my eyes are still, like, kind of red, so a little puffy, but that's okay. That's all right. <laughs> Charging. I think it's good. It's fine. Yeah, I didn't bookmark it, period. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna eat from uh for Christmas. Uh I've been looking at like best best menus of 2022. Um ah shoot block. Um and like I've seen like different places. This one says upstairs Clapham, which is kind of cool. And it's a goose menu. Uh, it's $75 per person. It's a three course piece features like starters, um, a roast goose to share for the main stairs with all trimmings, dessert, which I don't have anyone to share with. So I don't think I think that one applies to me either. Like a lot of these stuff over here just be like, oh yeah, we have they have a share okay they have a sharing this one this place has a sharing option option this one's on oxford street uh i mean the place is cute but is it where i want to eat at i don't i don't know oh this is so hard it's so hard to figure out what i want to eat you know i don't know what i want to eat snack and it tastes so good today because i think i used swiss cheese um and then i finally got coffee um i got a, that's whipped cream on top because this is something i wanted here's my almost but not finished matcha latte it just got so cold that i just was like i can't be doing this. <sighs> okay y'all so i'm officially back it is tuesday I think, yeah, it's Tuesday. Um, I just got back from work. Um, and they just finished cleaning the room, which is great. Oh, well, I don't know why. I just forgot that. But here is my suitcase. Um, I actually have to go in and purchase like space. For a suitcase because they was like oh you have to have a carry on and i'm just like you betcha um so basically packing should be severely quick because i don't have that much stuff to pack besides like undies dresses and stuff like that so um i just need to pack like some un some some pjs maybe which, weirdly enough, like, I never even, like, wear my PJs when I go to sleep. I always wear, like, something that I'm going to wear the next day. Because, I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable, like, changing into my PJs. But, in Bologna, I did change into my PJs. So, I need a pair of regular socks and then a pair of footy socks. In the meantime, we are carrying our white boots. For sure, we are carrying our UGG boots with the bows. Not 
my other babies because I don't have the water resistant one, like the water resistant spray, and I just don't want to risk that. So that's not happening. I've been on the fence about these. Another pair of my footy socks. So we are also packing these for the Pilates class. So it's the Drury Lane um, day where we go to watch Frozen and whatever not. I thought this one would be like super cute to wear. So that's what we're wearing. Um, and then at Christmas day, I think I just want to wear the same thing that I was wearing last time. That I wore to the orchestra because nobody really trying to be out here tripping over what they're wearing. Casual. Like the only dress up day I really had planned was the afternoon tea day. And so since that's already since it's already planned, I think it shouldn't be a big deal. And then I'm gonna bring this beige turtleneck to go under it and then this is gonna go with like a separate outfit some like some like really thick thermal leggings and the docks so that's one two three four um and everything else that i wear is probably gonna be sweatshirts and leggings because it's gonna be freezing and i'm gonna be going to workout uh workout i'm gonna be going to workout classes so it just makes sense like not to not to just trip out about like how much I'm packing. Like my toiletries and stuff and then I'll be good which my toiletries will pack together but I don't think it's like I don't think it's a lot I don't think but so this is like the line of products that I will be taking with me on like the trip nothing too like crazy nothing too oops, nothing too crazy nothing too like extensive um, and then I'll put in the same bag the Givenchy scent Givenchy so I'll put that scent in here as well. So, like I said, I'll be packing hair clip, extra toothbrush, and toothpaste. Um, I'm not wearing my watch, so I don't need this extra band. But I also have a few revitalizing eye creams from Chanel Number no. One. I have two of those. Don't think I'm rich, y'all. It's a tester. Um, I also have. This Noir uh, Chanel Mascara. So let's actually open that and get a good look at it. Ooh, this is pretty. It's cold. I mean, is it like frozen or whatever? Ooh! Uh, I mean, I'm not a makeup person, but look at that. Mm, that's pretty darn cool. So I will be taking my Chanel mascara, period, point, period, blue, poo. I'll go that way. Oh, not me having a whole line of, of Chanel in my bag. Um, I also actually, I don't even know. I don't think I actually need to take this irresistible scent because I also have the, what is this? I have a few, I have the Coco Chanel tester. Which, yeah, I'm, like, when you shop at Sephora, you have so many, like, you get so many testers. Um, what is this? I have, this is, the, this is another one of the same thing. So I have three. And then, I think this one is Chanel number five. This one is also Chanel number five. So if you're, if you're wondering, like, mmm. Maybe you should go to uh, Sephora. Gucci Flora. I also have the Gucci Flora scent. This scent is so fire. Um, these are like five spritzes. Let me just tell you, I have so many samples. It's, it's actually pretty gross. And that is it for the packing, I think. I think that's just about it. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, let me know. But I'll...
see y'all at dinner and then we'll be chilling.